Good morning, this is Dwayne, and I'm going to start a new series of videos just about one chord each. Just cover one chord on each video, and so they'll be very short videos, but they'll be the definitive answer to what, how to form a, that particular chord. So we're going to start with C minor 7th chord. So let's take a look at the C scale, which goes like that. You recall that the word scale comes from the word la scala, which means the ladder. So we have a ladder of notes that runs from the root up to the octave, the octavo note, okay? And to make a major chord, we always take the root, third, and fifth of that major scale, okay? Now to make a minor chord, we lower the third a half a step. And then to play a seventh chord, it seems like we would play the seventh note of the scale, but that's not true. We play the flat seventh, or the lowered seventh note of the scale. So C minor seventh is like that. It's not like that. A lot of people, when they're starting out, they think it's that. But that's C minor MAJ 7th. In other words, talking about just defining this, the interval from C to B, that's a major 7th. So that's C minor major 7th, but this is C minor 7th. So if you see a chord symbol, CM7, that's what it means, C minor 7th. And of course, you can turn that upside down and play it all over the keyboard, of course, up and down the keyboard. And I would recommend that you do that to get familiar with the various inversions. That's, that's the root position of C minor 7th. That's the first inversion, second inversion, and third inversion. Four note chords, of course, have three inversions after the root. Okay, so root, first, second, third. C minor 7th, by the way, is related. It's a kiss and cousin to E flat major. C minor is a relative minor to E flat major. Okay, so by playing C minor 7th, I'm also playing E flat 6th, aren't I? I'm playing the E flat chord with the 6th in it. So C minor 7th is inharmonic with E flat 6th. So that's a, a useful thing to know because if you're playing in the key of E flat just by changing the bottom note, you've changed the C minor 7th. You haven't, you haven't changed the chord at all, but you've changed uh, the sound by moving uh, the root uh, down to C. Sounds a lot different, doesn't it? Okay, so that's the C minor 7th chord. Now it's based on the scale of C minor, which goes like this. It's like the harmonic minor scale. Now I guess it's actually the melodic minor descending scale, but in any case, if you're going to improvise on C minor 7th, you would use those notes to start with. It's not that you couldn't use other notes, you certainly could, but those would be the, the home notes, the scale that you would start on if you're improvi uh, interested in improvising, okay? Let me give you an example. Let me do it very slow. Now it gets kind of boring after a while if that's all you use, but those are your home-based notes, so that's how you would start, okay? So again, the C minor 7th chord is C, E flat, G, and B flat. No matter where you play it, first inversion, second inversion, third inversion, or root position, it's all the same. No matter whether you play a broken chord like that, So that's it for C minor 7th. Now if you want to see a picture of that chord, go to my website. It's right down below. Just look down below, below the video, and you'll see uh, the address of uh, my website, playpiano.com slash C minor 7th. Okay, so if you want to go see what it's made out of, what it looks like up close, and if you want to print out a copy of, of the picture that's on that page, uh, you can certainly do that. So. Thanks for being with me, and we'll see you again tomorrow with a different chord. So, see you then. Bye-bye for now.